Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Hard Count. I'm Mike Limami, and I recently had a great interview with Tab High School's lineman Connor Castle. Castle is a member of the 2022 class and stands at 6 foot 0 inches and 255 pounds. Castle exhibits promising speed and strength from both sides of the ball on the line, from both the defensive and offensive line, and really attacks the line of scrimmage. Castle and I had the opportunity to talk about his program and coaching staff and how they've influenced him, as well as more on this episode. All right, everyone, here is Connor Castle. Enjoy. Um, so tell me a little about your program over there and your experience within it and how you've grown through it. Um, so started off, we at eighth grade level, you start running the same plays as them. So I think it's a really good asset to have when you're switching over to the high school level and learning bigger or not more IQ plays and having to your, know your responsibility more than just going out and blocking someone. And I think it's really helped me become a player and understanding the game better than I have before of just playing rec. And yeah. Yeah. So I see that you're listed here as six foot zero, 255 pounds. According to your huddle page, that's a pretty darn good um, height and size for where you are right now. Um, obviously I know that you did miss a season or you, you missed part of the season because you were injured. I, I read about. So um, kind of tell me about kind of the growth process and how you've kind of either matured from that or how you kind of bounce back from that. Um, I think it's really humbling kind of because like I didn't like really think I'd, I would ever get hurt or that something would ever happen to me. And it kind of makes you think like what else would I be able to do with my life? Like if football is never going to work out and thinking that like at first I thought I'm just going to keep playing football and I'm never going to stop playing football. And it kind of helps you like realize there's it's not just everything's going to be about football in life. It's about getting good grades and getting a job. And I think it's helped me become a lot better player. I've been going through a lot of rehab and it's back better than 100 percent that I would say. OK, wow, wow, that's very, very cool. Uh, good to hear that story. Obviously, I know that you've you've been through a lot involving that and, and other circumstances as well. Um, but kind of tell me a little about your, your school life and kind of what you've, you've kind of, um, how you've kind of matured as a person through that process. Um, school life. I mean, right now it's not the best cause we have online school right now. Right. So, I mean, it's helped me mature better as a man and seeing that like switching from eighth grade to high school is a big, big difference and becoming like a responsible for my own actions and, being responsible for everything I do and not just getting a little slap on their fist for not doing something and having to deal with school in general, friends, people, it just, you've got to realize people come and go and all the time. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, have you kind of built a kind of a bond with any of your coaches or have you kind of have a relationship with them? Kind of tell me how that, how that's kind of worked there. Um, I built a bond with my head coach, Coach Lawson. Um, he usually invites certain people over every uh, Friday or Thursday before game day, and we have a game day dinner and just fun to just talk to each other and just learn more about each other than we did before. So how has he kind of influenced you as a football player? Um, first coach that's actually like, got on me and like he shows that he cares by doing it some coaches just if they don't really care they just won't like say anything to you and he's actually try to keep me on track of where i need to be with college and getting out there and the camps okay all right very very cool and so have you heard from any colleges to this point have you been in contact with anyone um yeah uh west virginia wesleyan um frostburg and Methodist. All right. All right. So what are you kind of looking for in a, uh, in a college program? Someone that's oh, Someone that can be like a part of a big family and it's not, um, just like everyone doing their own thing, trying to get better for themselves and everyone working together and being part of a big program and trying to make everyone else better and not just yourself. All right. All right. And so what's kind of the first thing that you would want colleges to know about you as a football player, as a person? On and off the field, I'm a great person, and 
I'm a leader no matter what happens, and I'll always be able to take responsibility for problems, and I'm a great athlete or student, and yeah. All right. Very, very cool. And so um, tell me a little about kind of your training regimen, what you do on a weekly basis to kind of get yourself in shape or ready. So right after school on Mondays, it's um, our, it's bench press day. So I'll go to the Y and stay there for about two hours. And then Tuesdays, I go back to the Y after school and do back in buys. And then Wednesday, I'm usually at my uh, trainers doing like more football related movements and getting better with that. And then Thursday is back to the gym with a uh, leg day. And Friday I try to go out to the uh, high school field and start doing like um, pass rushing and stuff like that. All right. All right. And so what kind of, what going into kind of this year, what do you kind of, what kind of um, aspect of your game or technique are you trying to really kind of improve on or, or alter to make, make better? What'd you say? Um, I'm trying to get more moves into my um, caliber, trying to switch up and stop using the same kind of three or four moves to get back to the quarterback and working on technique. All right. Very, very cool. And so tell me a little about kind of your parents and what's, how have they kind of influenced you? What relationship do you have with them? Um, mother, she's been my rock ever since. Who knows when? Always been there. My number one fan. Um, pushing me through when stuff goes wrong and when things come up in life, she's always been there to uh, push me through. All right. All right. Awesome. Awesome. And so kind of going obviously from, from where you've been to where you are now, obviously is, is, uh, is very, very incredible, obviously reading about you and, and hearing about what's, what's happened. Um, so what, in terms of your, your future outlook in the next, you know, three, four or five years of your life, where do you kind of see yourself in that regard? Um, hopefully finishing up and getting a degree in uh, sports medicine and being able to, if because sometimes, you know, football's not going to work out and hopefully I'll be able to still be helping out with football and still be a part of it. All right. Very, very cool. And so one kind of last final fun question here. Uh, if you were to get drafted by an NFL team, what would be your preferred team you'd want to get drafted by? I have to go with the Raiders. Um, I'm from Las Vegas and – been following been liking them all right awesome awesome well thanks so much for coming on the show connor i really appreciate it yes sir thank you all right everyone that was connor castle out of tab high school in virginia if you'd like to contact connor his twitter account is at connor castle 56 be sure to give him a follow there also if you'd like to contact me be, my twitter account is at imami michael um, be sure to subscribe to the youtube channel as well that'd be greatly appreciated both my Facebook and Instagram pages are at the hard count with Michael Lamy, so be sure to give those um, give those a like and a follow as well. Facebook for your parents as well; that's very important. Um, and yeah, and thanks so much for listening, everybody, and special thanks to uh, Connor for coming on as well. All right, everybody, thanks so much for listening to this episode and tuning in. This has been the Hard Count. Do you have what it takes to go to one?